so are there activists that um maybe that are living not living and people that you draw inspiration Mm -hmm. from and maybe if you know other young people haven't checked them out would you recommend that they um yeah and this is for all people not just the young girls but yeah listen up (laughs) let's pull out our notebooks so i got y'all so the first the first people I draw from are really my Haitian ancestors. Like I'm Haitian. Um, I was born in Haiti and I, I directly pull from Haiti's revolutionary history because I always say like every question we have about revolution can be answered by Haiti, period. Like every single question can be answered by Haiti because Haiti also pulled from past revolutions in order to stage its revolution. Um, and also I think because Haiti is, is the first black republic, there's a lot to learn about what happens when the most marginalized people actually seek liberation and, 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 and who comes to kind of like make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, so I always pull from Haiti's revolutionary history. Um, Toni Morrison is a, is a really, really uh, big like black feminist uh, scholar for me, theorist for me, like uh, her book specifically Paradise was really influential in shaping a lot of my thoughts around Black feminism, or not not even shaping my thoughts around Black feminism, but more so painting a picture of what was possible for me. Um, now, the group that actually helped me understand Black feminism and made it accessible for me was the Cumby River Collective. Um, they are a radical Black feminist group developed in the 1970s on the heels of the Black Panther movement and the Civil Rights Movement because they felt like Black women, girls, and femmes were not being accurately catered to and and taken care of in our movement spaces, which I think directly speaks to the work that I'm doing now. So I always look to them. Um, And then I also, I love um, Edwidge Jantikat, who is a um, a Haitian uh, writer. Um, I just love her work because she writes in a very clear way. Um, And I I just really, uh, I just really empathize with what she's writing because a lot of what she's writing is a direct reflection of my life. So it makes me feel less alone as a Haitian as a young Haitian woman in that aspect. Um, and I would say that's it. That those are good starting points. Like, you know, feel the vibe and then get back to me. <laughs> yeah, and we'll make sure that we link link some of the, those things in the video when the video is out so people can find those resources. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh... <laughs>